much of the project will actually be over the Pasig River, no? Kasi pareho, kan, pareho kami ni Robin, di namin ma-picture ko no, itsura no. Eh. Much of it will go through the Pasig River. Pero ang sinasabi ng San Miguel, may statement na sila, it will actually include beautification down of the area that will be traversed, magkakaroon ng bike lanes, pedestrian areas, tapos merong ferry system, yung bus rapid transit daw, will decongest nga at mababawasan yung traffic and pollution. What do you say to those to those explanations? Four words, lipstick on a pig. It's lipstick on a pig. It's a pig of oh, an idea. Oh, lipstick on a pig, okay. <laughs> no, no, lipstick on a pig. Lipstick on oh. a pig. I mean, uh, they only came up with this uh, after the fact that uh, there was a lot of uh, uh, mm. fallout uh, from, on social media. And so the spin doctors uh, yeah. went on overtime and, and even uh, brought in um, uh, the firm of uh, Felino Palafox. Who was, Ako matutuloy uh, yung Paolo, that's okay. Kung matutuloy yung sinasabi nila na magkakaroon naman ng ganyan na beautification and uh, to, to, ano, to improve the environment na dadaanan ng expressway, okay ba yun? Well, they're saying that uh, the the six lane highway will now incorporate a BRT, two mm, BRT yes, lanes, mm -hmm. uh, mm. bike lanes, and pedestrian lanes. But the problem is, these highways are uh, tens of meters above. To connect a pedestrian system from the banks of the river and the rest of the uh, 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 pedestrian network uh, on both sides, one would have to go several several flights, uh, the equivalent of about five five stories, to get up there. Uh, oh. And uh, BRC, and you're carrying your bike, pa, no? And you're well, yes. And <laughs> you, if you're walking, then it's very difficult to walk mm -hmm. there. A, a BRT yeah. system will also require that you walk up there, and the, the central terminals are in the middle of the road, so it's it it can't work. Uh, I don't see yeah. how it can. I mean, it, it. I mean, if you threw uh, another 10 billion pesos, I guess you could make it work somehow. But the connections to either side of the river would be several stories above, and then you'd have to build the additional infrastructure, which is often lacking to connect this mode of transport to the uh, other networks uh, at the ground level. Mm -hmm. So uh, the yeah. intermodal connectivity just doesn't work. So like I said, it's, it's lipstick on a pig. And the beautification uh, aspects of it, it does not uh, mitigate the heavy environmental cost of uh, like I mentioned earlier, the increased pollution on a corridor that didn't have pollution, uh, the microplastics as well as uh, 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 the rubber from and oil um, that uh, will seep, seep down into the river itself, uh, the loss of sunlight, uh, which has impacts on the, mm -hmm. the marine, uh, marine uh, the uh, life in the <coughs> river itself. Uh, so if you weigh, weigh the cost benefit, uh, whatever you do on top of the uh, panics are, are even on the side. Yes, sir. Sir, what about the, what about the capacity of, that, of the Pasig River? That, uh, the, the capacity of the Pasig River. Because in 2009, post Ondo, you were trying to look at uh, the, the problems of the Pasig River. And apparently, the uh, real-time ability of capacity ng, ng Pasig River to drain uh, Metro Manila during heavy rains yes, is already heavily exactly. impaired. I'm trying to wonder lang. I'm trying to wonder lang if we build over or beside uh, the river a major, a super major, uh, su a major superstructure. What is the impact of that on the capacity of uh, the Pasig River? Given that we don't have any other alternatives, uh, we don't have any other spillway or... Yes, yes. Well, the, the, the river, the 25 kilometers is already there. And the uh, problem of uh, the capacity of the river vis-a-vis uh, -vis the, the amount of flood waters generated by a city already over, uh, over paved with concrete is an equation that needs a larger context. That means um, we have to mitigate, we have to uh, 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 detain the water before it reaches the mm. passing in all of these mm. banks along the 25 kilometers. And, and uh, uh, the parks will have an impact, of course, in the flow, uh, but it's not the only factor in, in the uh, uh, loss, in, uh, loss of the capacity of uh, the river as against the amount of flood waters that come at peak during this uh, during ah, ah. season. So it's a, it's, it, ah. it's a solution that needs a larger context rather than just focusing on the passing itself.